Tabby tabby po. Okay, I've gone inside the house. There's a strange face thing here. And a staircase. I'm gonna go up to the second floor. This is really trippy. It's just so random. So I woke up this morning, had a coffee, I'm here at Boy First Time's house and he is going to let me borrow the ADV again for a week because last time my trip got cut short because I had to go to my Senate hearing. But I think he's going to join me. Are you going to join me today? Oh, he's going to come for a little bit. Cool. So we're going to have a little uh, motor gang. In the meantime though, this morning we were listening to a song It came up on YouTube. Uh, the Day You Say Goodnight by Hale, the band Hale. And usually you go, to be is all I gotta be and all that I see but there's actually different lyrics uh, if you're getting fired up for a motor trip too big too big pa malamig in umsa too big sakai samota <laughs> we're gonna go and wake up somewhere in Bulacan with a little snack to the road. Tabang, we're still in Giginto, but literally right over there is the Malolos Bulacan sign. Check it out. Wow. And this here is Eurobank. Never been, don't know why, but we're gonna try some Innie Pit and hope I can get another coffee. This is legit. This is really nice, man. Oh my gosh, what a setup. Where do we go? In here? Let's go in here, I like this. We're the only people here right now, 9 a.m. in the morning. This is really cool. Cafe Eurobake. Feeling like I'm becoming Bulacanio right now because this here is my first time experiencing any pit. It's basically little pieces of bread or pastry that have, is this yema? I think it's yema. Yema, yema feeling here. And then it's drizzled with some sort of sauce. So we're actually trying to figure out exactly what the sauce is. I thought maybe it's latik, but my mom's gonna come back. This here, paired with a brewed coffee, it's gonna get me going. Mm. What I love is the top of this has a little bit of kind of glazed crispiness to it and it's super sweet. I'm going to be energized and so young because today I noticed the boy first time isn't ordering one. Diet, yeah? Diet. Diet? Mm -hmm. Want to get fit? First time pulling over the provincial capital in Bulacan. That is Marcelo H. Del Pilar. He's a Bayani, which refers to hero in the Philippines. A poet, a writer. This province is known for its poets and writers. In front of this statue, I believe is Gregorio, which may be his brother. I don't know. Is Gregorio the brother of Del Pilar? General Gregorio Del Pilar. Ah, okay, cool, cool, cool. 
So he was the military, and he's here by Annie as well? Yes, okay. So I think when I go on the Philippines, Brad, you usually see a lot of statues of Jose Rizal. Uh -huh. um, and I'm sure you see them in different towns around Bulacan as uh -huh. well. But here in front of the provincial capital are two famous Bayani from Bulacan. And interestingly enough, before we pull out and carry on down the road, uh, Del Pilar Marcelo was born in the municipality of Bulacan in the province of Bulacan. Uh, but this year, the provincial capital is actually in Malolos. All right, we're learning. Gregorio. Just passing by the Malolo City Hall, it's right after the capital. Welcome to the back roads of San Fernando Pampanga. We are looking for an old train station. We will not be going in the old railway station in San Fernando Pampanga. This was inaugurated 1892. It's a very old building. And in that same year, Jose Rizal actually disembarked from the station. This also happens to be a place where prisoners of war during the Bata and Death March uh, walked to and then I believe would have been uh, taken somewhere else. Bro, you talked to the people earlier. They're building this all the way to... New Clark City, Pampanga. Wow, and as you would have seen earlier, um, there's actually a railway being built all the way from Manila to Malolos. And then I think they're saying this might even go all the way from Clark to here to Malolos. Mm. Meaning the Philippines is becoming connected by train again. But in the meantime, under construction, I guess we can't go in and check out the history. Uh, I guess we're in Pampanga, so kumain ka? Kumain ka na? Kain tao? Kain tao? Gutom na ko? Well, yeah, if you're in Pampanga, you gotta be good one. We decided to park our bikes in SM because we were looking for something that we couldn't find. But I think what we can find on the streets here in San Fernando is somewhere to eat. Both myself and boy first time have never pulled over and walked around here. So I see a pedicab. Pedicab, and we'll just ask him to take us somewhere that's a delicious Kapampang and Karandiria. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, and see? And check out this, this is so cool. Look at the style. Whoa! <laughs> We're gonna tip over man. Ano pangalan mo po? Jojo. Jojo? Oh! We got Kuya Jojo. Ano tawag ang pedicab? Wheeler. A wheeler. And we're, we're in a wheeler. Is that correct? You say Anotawag? Anotawag. Anotawag. Like, what do you call it? Oh. We're in a wheeler and we're going, we don't know exactly where, but if there's one thing I do know, wheeler drivers will know what's up. I think this is the brake right here, actually. Is that the brake, Kuya? McBrake? Oh, that's the, oh, okay, cool, yeah. That's the brake, it's a hand brake. That looks like it's made out of uh, some sort of metal plumbing pipe. I wonder where he's gonna take us. <laughs> he's taking us to the best car in there, yeah. The best, it's got, you know what? Wait, what? Yawa? No. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, no, no. What is it? Ano yun, kuya? Diawan lang. Diawan? Oh, Diawan. Ano Diawan? A play siguro. Oh, we're going Diawan, okay. Diawan ba? That's funny. 
Jo. <laughs> tā viss atkarīsies. Otru par sājādīm, jā? Nav. No. Par sājā. Arī jādi, arī jādi. O, tīri, o, nu tev jau dāvā, leke. Hei, brad, mēs tā. O, let's go. All right. Who are you, Jojo, to the rescue? Hey, what's up? How are you? Yeah. Oh, PNP, nice one, bro. I know, I know, for Alan Mochi. Ah, PMSG Mendoza. Ah, yes. Take us Anka. Take us San Fernando Pampanga. Hello. Okay, if I say Manyaman, it's Masarap. Masarap. How do I say Magkano in Kapampanga? Like how much? Chamagkano. Chamagkano? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go to this current area, Chama Kano. Thank you, Chief. Salama, <laughs> guys. Thank, thank, you, thank you for your service. Salama, boss. Ingat, ingat. Chama Kano. Chama Kano, diba? Chama Kano. Oh, the thing we love. Morning, oh, Siggy. Oh, I need one. Good. Oh, that looks good, actually. Okoy. Oh, Okoy. Okoy, okay. calamari. So I think they usually have more dishes, no? Mm -hmm. But we just missed out because it's 12.30, didn't realize it. But I do have okoi, I got some tocino, and la ing. I think this is gabi, no? Is it la ing gabi? Yeah. No, we get the lunch. Yeah. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, he's waiting for us, the legend. Uh, he did pick a good place. The police, when we rolled up, said this is an awesome eatery too. And you can tell, I like the vibe. It's very local, uh, just across from the capital. But uh, Sayang, we missed the... Late Naba. Late Naba. Late Kanaba. Mm. Man, manyaman ang casino though. Mm. Andrea. Andrea. Andrea, okay. So all of these wonderful people here are Kapampangans who work in social services mm -hmm. and we were making some Chica Chica. They're teaching me some more Kapampangan words. <laughs> Where are my Chica Chica? Mar no, no, Mar no, no, Mar no, no, no. If, if I want to say like, to, if a guy is like handsome, you say Ma Yeah. Right, right. But if a girl is handsome, you say? A beautiful, you say Malagu. Malagu. So Ma Santing, Malagu, Kapampangans. Ilocano. 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 This is our Jojo, you're very masanting. Very low. Very masanting, but Baliksa SM. SM. Oh. Masanting Gayo. Malagu. 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 Who are you, Jojo Malagu? No, 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 he's not. He's not a body. Masanting. Masanting. Maganda Malagu. Oh, Maganda is Malagu. Guapo. Guapo is masanting. Selection. Fresh pineapple juice, bro. Thank you out there for some chip. Oh, it just tastes real, like no sugar, but. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. That's what I've read. Manyaman. Manyaman. Oh, Manyaman. One thousand thirty-three meters, active stratovolcano, Mount Arayat. We are driving along the rice fields here in Pampanga, but about a kilometer away, up and over the On, there's a place called Bali Batu on Google Maps, and supposedly 
it's gonna be an old stone house that kind of gives you temple like feel so that's what we're heading towards in the meantime it's very very green full of trees a big contrast to being down here in the lowlands so this is the lowlands does this count lowlands <laughs> sounds, sounds really like lowlanders. Low, lowlanders lord of the rings like anyways mount uh, yeah, really beautiful we're just driving along countryside road here from Across the two lie? Yeah. Two lie? Hey, bro. Ayan. <laughs> Never give up. There's always a way in the Philippines. Never know, always figure it out. Hello, Po. You found Hello. it, man. Hello, Po. I'm gonna have Hello. one. I, I know, I know, like Bali, Bali Batu. Bale. Bale. Bale Batu. Ah, okay. And Dati ang Bahai. Ah, okay. Ilang years, ilang years. Sinin mo lang namin yan, I know. 1985. 1985. Ah, cool. Ano pangalan mo, Po? Andy. Pilas. Nice to meet you, Po. 1985, an old, it's uh, bato, no? Stone. Old stone house. We need to check it out. Before, ano? Kubo. I used to be 19, a Kubo? Uh, 1980, Kubo. Ah, okay. Matutunaw na siya. Mga kogon niya, kawaya, ninaanay. Ah. Tas, bida, ano. Expand ba? used to be a house with kind of Kogan and Kauaian and then I guess to battle the conditions here under Mount Araya they started using stone and now it looks like this incredible little temple just tucked away in the forest on the foothills. Tabby Tabby Po. Okay I've gone inside the house there's a strange face thing here. And a staircase. I'm gonna go up to the second floor. This is really trippy. It's just so random. Unique design. You can see boy first time on the other side there. This kind of gives me a little temple feel. I get why people were we're posting about it being a little like Cambodian vibe. I've been to Angkor Wat a few times and you kind of see similar, well, obviously not similar, but kind of that vibe of a temple surrounded by greenery. Bro, isn't this crazy? Isn't it like, not crazy, but like... It feels like we're in Thailand, bro, no? Cambodia, Brad. Cambodia. Oh, Cambodia. Anchor Wat, ma. Anchor Wat. Cambodia. Oh. oh, sorry, Cambodia.
What is that? Some sort of bell. And on the far side, this looks like it was a split for a room or something. Even these little windows, this is so trippy. You just never know what you're gonna find kicking out. Oh, oh my Jesus! <laughs> you actually go. <laughs> I didn't expect that bad. Oh my gosh. Dude. So this whole structure here, and then over here, this is all Manong's compound. And that's really just the house. Now, back it, back it on, like, it, on the sign it said uh, that the house was built because of termites and because of... So it's really just, like, what about the structures, like the statues and the... Uh, uh, back it, back it on... We built that when rainy day, no, you get, you will... Di ka padang lumabas ng bahay. Oh, so nothing to do, you just... Yeah. So just smoke and enjoy? Yeah. Ah, oh, cool. Have you ever been like to Thailand or Cambodia or no? Just for happy. Happy. It's okay, cool. So they literally just made them because they're happy. So really interesting place. Uh, definitely worth a stop. It really gives you a funky vibe, especially if nobody's around. So. Is it Binatuk? Oh, please. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. Oh my gosh. I just got this in Baguio uh, a few months ago. What even I took? Oh, my god, it's cool. Like, so good, man. What's that in though? Oh, please, yeah. You should go order. Bread! Binatug! Binatug! Maize, sugar, buko. So we're going to eat this the uh, I don't you know hab hab way ba. Hab hab binato. Oh, oh. oh. So since na nasa Pampanga tayo. This is na binato in Tagalog. Here binato. Tama? See? Ah, oh, binato. Okay, Binatog. tama. O O's are you dito. And you got to eat it hab hab style. Yeah. Good luck. Have fun. The best. Mm. Just like this morning, man. Oh, that's dope. They give it in a coffee press. Nice, man. Benguet blend. Uh -oh. Let's just wait for three minutes, though. We ended up driving into the other side of Mount Araya, and there's this cool coffee shop called Cafe Uno. And we're chilling here, making a battle plan. It's almost 5 p.m. And that is Benguet blend. Interesting. The owner likes to travel in Southeast Asia a lot and thus learned how to cook Vietnamese, Thai food. So their menu is this kind of fusion Asian vibe and I ordered some fresh Vietnamese spring rolls because I can't resist them. Uh, there also happens to be some sort of a resort they have farther up so we might go check that out and make this a base camp for tonight. And enjoy our coffee, enjoy the Vietnamese spring rolls, hi hi for a bit and we'll see you later. We're following the guy at the ATV, that's awesome.
there is such a cool place just up from the coffee shop we were at. I'm stoked to be here. Uh, very, very sporadic day today. I thought maybe we'd be food tripping in Pampanga, but we ended up just on these little side magical mystery motor adventures. What I'm gonna do is just end this vlog right now, kick back, relax a little bit, and the next one, I'll start it by showing you where we are because it is beautiful. And I'm also stoked to go in that pool. See you in the next one.